Hey guys, it's Overlord here. Heck with the camera that just wants to over. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, whatever. Screw you. Back again with another review. Today we are having a look at the Marvel Legends Avengers Wave 2. I didn't finish Odin yet. We'll get to him. Probably next week. I gotta replace a figure from my Rhino Wave before I can review that, which sucks. But, yes. Um. <clears throat> Today we're having a look at the builder figure Thanos. Now in order to build this figure, you had to get Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, Batrock, and one of the fierce fighters, Spider-Woman or Hellcat. Most people went with Spider-Woman. I can see that. I don't really know much about Hellcat. I know a little bit more about Spider-Woman. And I need to uh, make a statement about that figure. That is Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, not the... Uh, black costume one from, uh, well, I guess the Iron Man cartoon would best set it, would best set things right, but, <laughs> is the best example I can give, eh, I can't freaking think right now, but, um, yes, uh, the Jessica Drew Spider-Woman, that's the classic red and yellow costume, then there's the one from the 90s, I can't remember her name, but, She's the redhead one. Occasionally brown head. Brown hair. Don't go there. Shutting up now. We'll have a look at Thanos. So Thanos, um, first problem. That should not just come off. Uh, that's really the major gripe I have. I like the fact that these little yellow things on his arms are free roaming as well as his belt. I don't like the fact his hips don't go out that much. That's kind of lame, but whatever. Um, his abs do move one click. Might as well have him click back all the way like that or to do anything uh, upright. Uh, the head articulation is pretty good. It's on a hinge. In a ball joint. He has no jive turkeys. I know I've been saying that about a lot of the figures during the week, but I watched some ODC, that's me. Can you really blame me? Um, he's got a waist swivel. Um, that's much better when this shoulder piece doesn't come off. His arms move up that much. of that nuisance. His arms go up that much. They will rotate as well if you don't have that on. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a single jointed elbow. His wrists rotate. Move this down. His waist rotates fairly well. Put this down. His wrists also have a hinge if I didn't mention that. It works about the same on both sides. Uh, his hips move forward and back. Kind of have to do this to get him to sit in a chair. Make him look a little silly, but it looks fine if he's sitting in a chair. Uh, he's got a swivel in the thigh here. Double jointed knees. Swivel at the boot. Mine are pretty loose on both. Well, that one's not so loose. But he does have some pretty weak ankle joints. I mean, there's not... Well, this side is fine. This side is not. So, that's probably the side that came with freaking Captain America. So, I can't really get a better one. But, I don't care. I get him to stand anyway. 
I stand, I mean, I display his hips out all the way because it's not that much. So, needless to say, this is a pretty decent bath. I've yet to uh, get Hulkbuster, and I do not have the um, Odin bath yet. But I have to say, this is probably my favorite of the Avengers baths that I currently own. Which is just himself, really. But, um... If I had Odin, I think I'd still go with Thanos. Just because it's Thanos. I like Thanos a lot more as a character. He's an overlord. So kind of goes in hand with my name. But here he is with Iron Man. And as you can see, he's a little... It's kind of short for Thanos. I mean, if you want, you can go with the Marvel Select one. That one's probably a better choice anyway. Because it's a little bit tighter in terms of the joints. And all that good stuff, so... Overall, I'm going to give Thanos a 10, because I like the figure. I got one with good paint apps, too. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for uh, possibly the Odin Wave, possibly the Rhino Wave. It depends on what I, or what I pick up in the week I record these. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.